Okay guys, so today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to do the cold Kashmiri tea. Um, on this side here, I've just got my concentrate that I've prepared and uh, that was ready. You've watched the video on how to do this on the other Kashmiri tea uh, tutorial. So this is just the concentrate that's been boiling. It's ready, it's trained, it's everything. On this side, um, so this is obviously we use the Kashmiri chai leaves that we've used for the concentrate. If you guys are not sure, on how to make the cover then go and watch um, the tutorial that's been up on my IGTV for the Kashmiri pink chai right on this side I've got um, full cream milk I've also got some condensed milk I'm gonna use condensed milk to sweeten you can use sugar as well it's totally your preference you can use jaggery you can use unrefined brown sugar whatever your preference is I'm gonna be using condensed milk today I've got some nutmeg and mace here I've got some cardamom and here I've got what I've got here is I've got rose powder rose petal dried kashmiri clear rose petals and I've just grounded that into a powder so that's this here so um, that simple dried organic rose petals that's in the clear range we've used that and we've grounded so that you're going to add is obviously going to be you're going to gauge and you're going to add um so we add milk according to so you can add milk first you can add cover first you add the milk and then you check the color you're happy with and then you stop basically so this is a very much a uh, look and feel kind of a thing so i'm going to add another half of a liter of milk here what i'm going to do now is i'm going to add the condensed milk and obviously taste and see like i said you can add sugar in here as so, well guys this is the color we're kind of looking for this is pink in color so if the light can do justice this is what it is now what i'm going to do is what i like to do here oh. here is now i like to add nutmeg there's some nutmeg that's going in here there's mace that's going in here and then i'm going to add in about a tablespoon or so of this rose powder okay so i'm gonna just add that quickly and this gives an amazing amazing flavor as well right so we're going to add the rose flavor and i also like to add a little bit of cardamom here okay um, like I said, you can do sugar, you can do condensed milk, um, you can do any of those things. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to let this thicken on a low heat till it's a lovely, rich, thick sort of this thing. Now what happens is when we chill this overnight, then it thickens even more. Um, when we take it off the heat and when we uh, let it get cold and uh, keep it overnight in the fridge to chill out it obviously thickens even more but we're going to reduce this a little bit not a lot um but we are going to reduce it i'll show you guys the, the the texture of what it looks like once it's reduced then we're going to pack it away let it cool down put it away in the fridge and then we obviously serve it with whipped cream and some cardamom, pistachios, almonds and rose petals. We've been reducing for about 10 minutes or so. This is what the texture looks like. You can see as I'm dropping, it's neither too thick nor too thin. It's just like a drinking consistency, but it's nice and thick. We're going to switch this off now and we're going to leave it to cool down and to chill overnight um once it's chilled then obviously we are going to do exactly like the way we do it with the normal kashmiri tea um a little bit of whipped cream cardamom um uh, almonds pistachio and um rose petals so that's it that's as simple as it is so obviously at this stage you can serve this hot as well um but if you want to serve it cold like how we did the iced kashmiri tea then this is the process to do that